so yesterday was the uh, uh, skill positions D-line O-line camp at Morehouse right so um, while I was there and there were coaches from all over the country there bro um, they even have a, a bigger camp going on today uh, down at Mercer in Macon I couldn't make that I had uh, other engagements but the one thing that I asked some of these coaches uh, was what is it that D1 colleges are looking for and nearly a consensus was grades because how can you play ball you can't get on the field so I think it's imperative that we as high school coaches uh, we as uh, mentors uh, if you have a uh, um, uh, someone in your school that uh, works with uh, any of these guys the teachers any of that is to help them to understand that any dream that they have connected to any sport, not just football, but any sport, they need to have grades. And here's the thing that's even more important too. Almost to a man, every one of those coaches, when we said, um, He's got a 3.2 GP, a 3.3.0 GPA. They were like, you know, that's good, but we need a 3.4, need a 3.5, because if you're a 3.2, if you're 3.0, that means you're like a 2.8. If you're 3.5, that means you're like a um, 3.2. So it was like, what? You know, it's it's, but it's those little intangibles that separate um, getting to a D1 school from either not making it at all or having to go to JUCO and work your way back up to the top when you can start off at the top. So it is imperative that the counselors, the teachers, coaches on the high school level communicate how important it is for our guys to not only get a Get good, get a good GPA, but maintain it. Not only that, how to work well uh, as a student athlete, how to not be a cancer in the locker room, how to be uh, a whatever coach asked me to do, I'm gonna do because that's what these coaches are looking for. Uh, one of our players yesterday was nearly offered two. Uh, 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 nearly got two offers yesterday. He got one, and the other one is almost a guarantee as well. So it's not it's not a game out here. These colleges are looking to invest into your brand as an athlete, and you have to know what that brand is. You have to know who you are. You have to be able to communicate. You gotta be able to talk to talk, bro, and walk to walk. You gotta be able to do all of it because these guys are out here <laughs> prostituting themselves <laughs> for the most part to potentially sneak up on the next biggest thing. And when I say they are literally out here prostituting themselves to sneak up on the next, the, the next biggest thing, that's what they're doing. And they are offering you everything but the kitchen sink. And if they could offer it, they would give you that too. Um, but they, and, and the things that they were looking for, like what are they looking for? They're looking for open, the, the ability to open your hips. They're looking for footwork. They're looking for hand movement. They're looking for speed off the line. They're looking for, um, they're looking for uh, ability to make adjustments and bounce back from potentially a bad play. They're looking for your demeanor. They're looking for your energy. They're looking for your um, ability to handle, handle controversy. They're looking for all of these things because once again, 
you're looking at an investor who is potentially uh, going to offer you God knows how much money to invest into your business. But not only that, um, you're looking at guys who are potentially going to open the doors for you to be able to craft a life that will last you longer than you your life. These guys will be the initial people that will write you the check that will change your life for the rest of your life, yours and your family's. So this is why it's imperative that as coaches, as as uh, as uh, mentors, as teachers, that we begin to communicate to these student athletes that it's not just about getting a 3.5 or a 4.4.0. It's about understanding your uh, marketability. Then, for those students who um, have uh, what is it? that have the 4.0s. I'm not gonna sit here and say, man, you shouldn't try to go to Bama. You shouldn't try to go to UGA. You shouldn't try to go to Purdue. You shouldn't try to go. No, you need to try those too. But don't forget those uh, other schools like uh, Dartmouth, uh, those um, uh, schools like, uh, I'm trying to think of them big Ivy League schools. Because let me explain something to you about the Ivy League, man, them Ivy League schools. Uh, an Ivy League, <laughs> an Ivy League school on your uh, resume uh, carries as al almost as much weight as an NFL contract. <laughs> and so, don't sit here and just because you're smart, you want to, you know, follow everybody else's footstep when Harvard needs some diversity and some minorities, or Dartmouth or Yale or Princeton need somebody like you, and they're willing to offer you the entire school to get you into their school so that they can have that because you've got the pedigree paperwork and education wise to get in don't just don't throw away one team uh because you think you need to follow somebody else's footsteps and let me uh, tell you something else too you get into one of these ivy league schools if you are as good as you say you are you get to the league Cause you see this thing that I'm talking on right here? This thing alone will get you to the lead if you are the truth. So it don't matter where you at. This is not 1940, this is not 1980, this is not 1990. We're in 2023, big dog. And one thing about 2023 is, if you got somebody working on your behalf to make sure that you're that you are getting out there that's uh, consulting you in the right manner. If you need some cons consulting, if you need some uh, help with that, just holler at me, inbox me, man. I don't mind, I, I, I like it, I love it. It's what I like to do. Dog, these people are willing to give you everything. Now I gotta get into this, uh, get in this gate. So, um, don't sell yourself short by not taking your full opportunity. And that being said, dog, get out there, bust your ass. I'm just gonna put it in and say it, but keep it 100. Bust your ass. Especially when you're at these camps, bust your ass in the game and at practice. Because you got to understand something. Your film is on tape, bro. And the film don't lie. So, and I've been like this morning. I've been sending videos to scouts. College scouts. Right now. Just sent one. And to remind him of one of our players. And so, you don't want these guys to forget. Because they, they look at guys all day. So, you want them to remember you. You want them to remember what you bring to the table. And you want them to uh, uh, buy in, into your uh, your business, your brand. And another thing that a lot of guys need to realize, too, is this. Keep your nose clean, man. Shut up. Keep your nose clean, bro. And, and uh, uh, cold fat, what do, you, what do you mean by that? Leave the BS at home, bro. 
Leave the people at home. The people that ain't in that the people in your life or that you know of that can't sow into you positively, that can't keep you out of certain environments, leave them, y'all know what I want to say, at the crib. And if you can't leave them at the crib, walk by them, chunk them the deuces and go into your crib but don't let them jokers in. Because you got to understand something. When you know where you going and you got, you got billion dollar businesses like these colleges are, knocking on your door, Next week we going not next week. We got the next week going to UGA. The week after that we got uh, the ne- uh, a day after that we going to Georgia Tech. When well, you got billion dollar businesses knocking on your door to say, hey, bro, I'm gonna give you a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, thousand to come pay play for my team, so you can put butts in the seats, so they can sell tickets, so they can make they can get these concessions and make all this bread, and you know you need that kind of bread to take care of your, take care of your family. Then you got NIL deals down here in the ATL, bro. You could be in a movie. You never know. Not only that, you can be in other things because other businesses happening down here, bro. Now, leave the BS at home. Bro. Bring your behind to the field. Every day that that coach got your behind on that field, every day that he say, listen, we open for practice, you be your behind early. You standing at the doorway waiting on him. And you say, hey, look, man, if you want me to sleep here, I got my blanket and I got my pillow out there in the car. Or I got it at home, I can get it. Why? Because our head coach was selling some of our selling, was marketing some of our players to the colleges. I was marketing some of our players to the colleges. Other coaches were marketing their players to the colleges. And it was imperative that their GPAs were up, that their that they were good on film that they were gonna get the job done and also you need to be diverse in your ability your skill set i got a guy six six i want to say six six shoot he looked taller than that 300 plus already they salivating for him everybody and i'm talking you know when i say everybody i'm talking everybody got an offer yesterday looking at getting another one Guy already got one, and he's just now going. He ain't even into his 11th grade school year yet. What am I saying? You don't know who, what, when, and where opportunity is going to knock. And I tell my other players, I say, look, just because UGA, Florida, Miami, Ohio State, Alabama, Auburn, Ole Miss are coming to look at him. Don't you be shorting shorting yourself because they might be looking for an interior lineman who can play both ways, and that's why I mean by diversifying your skill set. If you play D-tackle, you need to be able to go play on offense too. But those coaches might be looking for guys like him. But if you the truth, they're going to say, well, who is that? So do not mistake or do not overlook opportunity. If you know scouts are going to be in the building and you is the last person on the depth chart, you know you ain't going to get in until third quarter with 0.1 0.1 seconds left on the clock. You better go out there and make a play. Because that might be the one play that changed your life. Anyway, this your boy, Coach Fair. Holler at me if you need any consultation, any help with what you're trying to do to get yourself marketed, to get yourself, I don't know, just anything on what you might need to do to get you where you go. Hit me up on the inbox. Just shoot me a message or something like that. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? I like I, I just like running my mouth as you can tell. Deuces.